Hello everybody. Welcome to another video by K21 Academy. This video is more about an exam update regarding Solution Architect. Well, who is a Solution Architect? First, let us discuss this. The role of Solutions Architect is the person who organizes the development effort of a system solution. The Solution Architect is responsible for the development of the overall vision that underlies the projected solution and transforms that vision through execution into the particular solution. And in order to gain expertise and check your skills, you need a validation. This validation comes from different exams and certifications. This video will cover all about Microsoft Azure Solutions Architect Expert Certification or Badge. So, let us first discuss about the agenda for the day. We will be discussing about what are the new changes, why are these changes even made, and what you can do, and the ways in which we can help you out. Now first, let us see the historical trends. So, you had to clear these exams in order to get for the expert batch or the certification. First is AZ303 and along with AZ304 and after clearing these two exams you would receive the expert badge or the certification. But now Microsoft has made certain changes. Microsoft has introduced AZ305. The AZ305 is named Designing Microsoft Azure Infrastructure Solutions in the beta version and is a new expert level exam for Solutions Architect which will be available from November 2021. This exam replaces AZ303 and AZ304 and both these exams will retire on March 31st, 2022. The candidate for this exam is expected to know about designing and implementing Azure Solutions Architecture according to Microsoft Cloud Adoption Framework and Microsoft Azure Well Architected Framework. But first, why is even Microsoft making these changes? Microsoft keeps on reviewing its program and certification to stay upfront with the industry requirements. They keep on accessing the skills needed to thrive in the cloud-based world. Microsoft also keeps on reviewing the objective domain. And in this particular case, there was a ton of overlap between AZ104 and AZ303 and AZ304. And hence, with the gathered feedback on these exams, Microsoft decided to make AZ104 a prerequisite and combine AZ303 and AZ304 in a single certification, that is AZ305. AZ305 is a new exam with a new number that indicates that the exam has changed quite a bit and suggests more than one third of the exam content has changed. Changing exam numbers is simply Microsoft's way to let test takers know that exam content has changed significantly and one should prepare accordingly. Now here is what you can do. To earn the AZ305 certification, you need to fulfill one of the following requirements. Earn or have a current Azure Administrator Associate that is AZ104 certification and then pass the exam AZ305 after it's available or you can pass the AZ303 exam before it retires and then clear the AZ305 beta exam after it's available on November 16th, 2021. Or what you can do is pass both the exams that is AZ303 and AZ304 before they retire. Now let us discuss about some of the skill sets that are measured. To pass this exam, you must get familiar with the exam objectives and the skills measured. Hence, I'm showing you some of the skills. Design identity, governance and monitoring solutions that covers around 20 to 30 percent. In under this, designing a solution for logging and monitoring, designing governance, designing identities and access for applications. Moving next, we have design data storage solution that covers 25 to 30 percent. The design and data storage solution for relational data, designing data integration, designing a storage solution for non-relational databases as well. Coming next, we have design business continuity solutions. This covers around 10 to 15 percent. Designing a solution for backup and disaster recovery and designing for high availability. 
Next up, we have design infrastructure solutions that covers around 20 to 30 percent. And now coming to our major motivation behind the solution architect job roles. We are discussing about the average salary packages. If you're a fresher in the USA, then you would get around $76,000. And if you're so fresher in India, then you may get around 5 lakhs. But talking about an experienced professional, you may get around $122,000 in the USA and around 20 lakhs in India. That's a good, good number. And if you really want to get well versed with AZ305 requirements, basic skills and everything related to this exam, then you can book your free seat for our free class. All you have to do is log on to k21academy.com forward slash AZ30502. And now let me show you a small demo to do the same. All you have to do is log on to your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash AZ30502. After that, you just have to click on book your free seat now. You will be redirected to this kind of page where you have to enter your details and select any slot in which you're available. And now you can see this URL for your free class. You can save this link and I'll see you in the next class. And if you've enrolled, you can take unlimited retakes for one year. Whosoever have enrolled for AZ303 and AZ304 will get access to AZ305 course as well. Till then, keep hustling and take care.